What is going on guys? It is Tony from Normal Paintball and today I am bringing you the best mechanical tournament paintball setup ever. All right guys, as you know, mechanical tournament paintball has taken the, uh, the paintball scene by storm per se. Between the Iron City Classic, ICC as you know it, and the ICPL, um, a lot of good teams are putting their hat in the ring. Would that be a correct statement, Mark? That would be correct. What's the IUCPL stand for? You I know? can't even see, dude. I don't know. Cut. Is it International Classic Paintball League? Is it? I don't know. I have no idea. All right, doesn't matter. Talk All right, in the cool. Comments Sounds what you good, think man. It for. Yeah, dude. I didn't even look that far into it, but he caught me. I just know the Iron Classic. City Classic because of Tim, you know. He's a Detroiter, so we know we've been there a couple They're times. They're both good events, though. Anyways, 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 anyways. Let's talk about the best mechanical tournament paintball setup. I know this is going to get a lot of negative comments, like, why don't you have an autococker in there? Yes, we love autocockers, 100%. But the latest win by Infamous Paintball will definitely show you. You don't need an autococker. I mean, they're great. They're probably the flattest shooting marker out on the market right now. But <laughs> rumor. <laughs> what do we got? What do we got here, Mark? We got an EMEC. EMEC. And an M170R. So let's talk about kind of price points, uh, the benefits. So going back to the latest, this last tournament in Florida, the ICPL, Infamous takes first place. So you guys, uh, a lot of those players were shooting just the standard EMEC. Do you know what the price is? This gun only costs two hundred and nineteen dollars and ninety five cents. So, so good. So you've got good. a lot of professional players battling against other professional and amateur players with a two hundred and twenty dollar gun. So very interesting. I mean, they're obviously Planet Eclipse. Shout out to you because you do make an extremely amazing product that a lot of people use, whether in the mechanical scene or the electronic speedball scene. Onwards. And so you know what's awesome is there's. So it's such a popular gun now yeah. that there's so many third-party add-ons to tweak it and, and yeah, you can add on the the murder infamous, machine yeah. trigger by Infamous Paintball. You can add on the E mock trigger, e mock trigger. E -mock trigger. There's similar. a bunch of like yep. small companies that are doing throw small. a pops ASA on there. Correct from Planet Eclipse. upgrades to yeah. the mechanical scene markers. Such a Anyways, gun. so let's hop on into. So you have an EMEC here, and I have an M170R over on this side. Um, Two hundred nineteen dollars, six hundred and fifty nine dollars, I believe. Yes, sir. Yes, six fifty nine ninety nine. So yeah, I mean, you obviously you're at a, near a four hundred dollar difference between the two, but. Either way, if you're a good player, you can get the job done. If you guys are into mechanical paintball, I would highly, highly recommend either the EMEC or the M170R if you have the extra money. M170R is a great choice, but the EMECs clearly have proven themselves. If you can send a 10-man squad out there and they can win a tournament shooting EMECs, you're good to go. Can Next. I get uh, five quick things that are better about the M170R over the EMEC? The quick pull-up bolt system, the uh, on-off ASA quick release, the access to the external eye covers, uh, since there's no eyes, but if you need to clean, if you broke paint in the breech, uh, the grip slides off instead of using an Allen wrench there, Mark, so you can slide the grip off there. So that's three. Let's talk about the, the thumb wheel feed neck, because the EMEC doesn't have one. It's not a thumb wheel. It's an Allen wrench. That's four. And... <coughs> Barrel. Yeah, yeah, the two-piece barrel. There you go. So that's five right there. Easy peasy. Right off the top, now you baby. Know why there's more? Boom. Obviously, more money. I mean, this body's plastic composite. This one's all aluminum. So there's tons of differences. Bonus. All right, let's go. That was six or seven, whatever. Anyways, next up, um, I know that infamous. Not this is an infamous video by any means. I think they use powerhouse, powerhouse regs, whatever. Here we sell a lot of the Ninja stuff. Ninja is a great product. So here's a Ninja light tank, 68, 4,500. Uh, these retail at 164.95. These are a great tank. And they now come in with a little micro gauge. So it's not big and bulky and sticking out, you know, hitting your wrist and keeping you uncomfortable out there. Okay, and so we do sell powerhouse rags as well. We do, we? oh yeah, no, powerhouse is great as well, but I just carry more Ninja in stock than I do powerhouse. 
Fair enough. Let's move on. As everybody knows, the Epic Spire 3 hopper. My number one selling hopper by far out of any other thing that I carry is the Spire 3 hopper. They do retail at $229.95. It's a great hopper. I mean, you can just pop this bad boy open in the back and you can take a look on the inside. Hinges. It comes with a spring ram. Comes with magnetic inner drive. So you can just pull that off to clean it if you ever did break any paint. So this thing is absolutely amazing. Love these hoppers, sell a ton of them. Great product, super easy to deploy. Deploy? No, to install a speed feed. Press the button here, lid comes off, click your speed feed in, and you're ready to rock. So boom, the Spire 3 hopper. I mean, and I didn't even, this is a review on the Spire 3, but you know, it's got side indicator lights on both sides. I mean, it's just a great hopper. It's so, like it's your favorite. It's in almost every high-end package. Well, it really know. is because they're A, the number one seller, and B, yes. I personally use one, and it's absolutely fantastic. And they're sexy. I forgot to they are. They're very sleek. You know, just take a little look. Oh, the slimness. What other hopper has, like, side lights that light up and let you know low battery, low paint? Stuff like that. It's like so, hopper porn right now. It is. Anyways, <laughs> so more, more about the guns, less about the hopper. So... EMAC M170R, I'll grab that here in just a moment. Let's talk about the actual Push Unite goggles. So wow. these retail about 220 bucks. Yeah, I know. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money, but. But this is the ghost. What do you, you can't, you can't pay, you know, I mean, is there a price for, for sexiness, Mark? Um, is there? Is yes. there a price for the. There's most definitely a price for it, but it's worth it. So worth it. Ooh, baby. So this is the Push Unite mask. You guys have seen them on the channel before. Uh, the infamous Ghost infamous ghost Edition. So these are awesome. Obviously, you can adjust the nose piece here. It's got the, uh, let's see. I'm just trying to look. Tri-layer, yeah. It looks like a tri-layer type foam here. I know it's super comfortable. The best part about this is everyone's regulation mark. The magnetic chin strap. Click, 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 easy click. Peasy. Yeah, easy peasy. So nice little cool infamous strap in the back. Um, these goggles are awesome. They're very comfortable. Like I said, once again, you can adjust the comfortability right through the nose piece that comes with the little Allen wrench right in the case. So that's very nice. And it's a great travel case. You don't have to buy an extra case to carry your mask in because it came with one. And once again, saying this is the be best mechanical package, really, we're truly talking about the markers in this case. So we can throw all this other stuff off to the side. Truly, the only reason I brought this, like, obviously, you don't need to have a $220 goggle to win a paintball tournament or to have the best setup, but they're nice, super comfortable. Um, I just brought it to the forefront because Infamous clearly just won the ICPL with it. So anyways, we'll set that off to the side. So that mask must be the best. Well, yeah, I mean, by default, it must be the best by default. I mean, why do you wear Jordans? Because he was the best. Why That's would you wear a Push Unite Ghost mask? Very from true. Because it's the best. Let's set them off to the side. And once again, the Spire 3 Hopper is absolutely fantastic, but you don't need it per se. It's a great, I would, I would highly recommend, but set it off to the side. The Ninja Tank would definitely recommend. Set that off to the side. Let's really get back to the basics here of the best mechanical setup, though. You got the EMAC 100. It is definitely PAL compatible with the hopper every time you pull the trigger. The little red lever pushes up into the PAL hopper, which, Mark, we should have brought one of those, but... Um, not, but this is a tournament. I wouldn't I use a PAL you. hopper in a tournament. You just want that force fed. Yeah. I feel you. Because yeah. the PAL hopper is great. It works I well, feel you, but you but want to know that every it does occasionally. Jam. You want to know that every single time that paintball is coming out of the barrel, and you're not missing a shot. I don't want to shake and bake in a turn. I respect that. Fair enough. All right, now on to I talked about the Emac. Let's talk about the M170R. Um, you already put me on blast for five better features than the Emac. Uh, obviously, the body's all metal. I mean, this gun is super light, super slim, super sleek. I like it. Um, what do you think, Mark? Where they're we both, go next? They're they're just they're awesome. Um, I mean, so oh, this so this things. one uh, what six forty nine? Yes, sir. Yep. Right. Six fifty nine. Six fifty nine ninety five. We, we said that in the beginning. Map. So yeah, no, definitely no. Not. can't violate map. So yeah, um, you've kind of seen what we think or what we know is the best mechanical paintball tournament setup out there. 
Like I said in the beginning of the video, the auto cocker, like, why don't you shoot a cocker? Well, we do. We are cocker fans around here as well, for sure. Well, we'll do a but, cocker hey, setup eventually. Um, this is what we're currently looking at, though. The only thing I can think of, besides budget, Go ahead. there are the, a few upgrades. I want to know, in terms of style of play, would you pick one marker over the other? Like, if I was a back player, could I use one over the other? If I was a front player, should I maybe select one over the other? I'm, I'm just curious of your opinion. So what I would say um, at back or front doesn't really matter to me. To be completely honest, though, this is why we sell out of the Emacs every single time we get them in stock. I mean, we order 12 at a time, and they go very quickly. So for 220 bucks, I think if you put obviously a 12 inch or a freak kit or whatever barrel, an aftermarket barrel on this EMAC, it can clearly, as shown, compete with any other marker out on the market. So as much as I love the uh, M170R, if I can save myself $400 and put that towards something else, a better tank, a better mask, a better hopper, I'm gonna go with the EMAC, unfortunately. Would you agree? I mean, you just. Well, saw, I own an Emacs, so I mean, I, mean, I, I, I already picked that. Put a better barrel on it, and, and you I can that. put four hundred dollars into yeah. your other gear. So, but I don't play tournaments yeah. four times a year. True. Uh, True. You know, if I was if I was a diehard serious yeah tournament player, and I was hitting them all. I'd probably upgrade to the one M one seventy. Well, if you have the money, I need to access the eyes more often. I'm gonna need to, you know, change different things. I'm gonna want the better reliability on the. Well, the with these, bowls. there's no eyes, but yeah, the, if you're breaking the, paint yeah, in there, getting yeah. in there for the detents. Yep, right? yep, for sure. Um, you know, I'm gonna already get the better barrel right off the rip. So, I mean, it depends on. Yeah. I think how often you're playing. Like I said, I'm I'm a very recreational player, so the Emac was is. a perfect choice for he, me. He's old dad behind the yeah. camera, you know, so. so. Uh, yeah, but I, yeah. but all the other stuff, I, I love the mask, I love the tank, I love the hopper. So I think we're going to put both of these uh, as packages up on the website, the the ter yeah. mechanical tournament and then the higher end mechanical tournament so you guys can choose uh, what you like and what you prefer based on your level of play. So you're saying, Mark, that if you had the extra cash, you'd go with the 170? If I had the extra cash and I played regularly okay yes, would agree would agree you know uh, but if you guys are out there just getting into the scene or if you guys are tournament players and just want to mess around you know doing mechanical stuff which a lot of our guys that play at our fields do they're obviously they're tournament players they have speedball guns but then they want to hop into a little mechanical game we that's why we sell a ton of the emac 100s these things are awesome so anyways guys video is over don't forget shop lonewolfpaintball.com all of this stuff is available and don't forget, go hit the jerky den because it is the best source of protein and we are the best source for paintball. Take it easy. Let me see if finger these triggers for the outro. I can't, dude. Just, just you just want to. Yeah, now do the other one. Let me hear the sound. What in the what? what? Dude, Mark's getting weird. Can't really hear it. Oh, ooh. It's not as metal-y. It's more silent. Yeah, it's not. Ooh, that might play a role. Oh, yeah, right. See you guys. See you guys.